Hi, Fernandez. My name is Amber. Um, I read through your post and I really wanted to take the time to respond to yours because there was a few things you highlighted um, that caused me to just really do a little bit more digging and research, even in the original article by Shariko. Um, a couple things you mentioned, um, you had referenced Caracas um, in your article and stated, um, you quoted him in his research saying that spirituality used in workplace promotes improved employee performance and organizational effectiveness. And I thought that was really great. Um, personally, I work obviously within a church as a pastoral counselor and prayer is a big deal in our organization. We have quite a large staff, around 50. And so we also have a school on our campus. And so prayer is something we do weekly. We have a weekly rhythm um, for corporate prayer and every, three times a week um, we gather for prayer in the mornings for an hour before we start our day. And so prayer was just something we have believed in because uh, we believe it's connection, relationship to God. Um, and I don't, I don't think any of us walked into that with um, an idea that it would create, um, as you quoted from Carcass, employed employee performance and so i love when articles are mentioned like that because it just gives more of, of importance of um just the uh, the positive effects that prayer has um i think as christians we look at prayer as this is connection this is relationship it's not so much um we're doing this to gain anything but i just i think this just shows off god's character even more and his goodness because it actually betters us um, as individuals and organizations when we put prayer first. Um, so that's been my biggest takeaway of reading these articles. But what I really wanted to um, comment on was your statement um, in your post. You said, I believe the research and the positive conclusions are limited because nuns were used as test subjects which you said you believe creates a level of bias. Um, and you stated using teachers from the general public without any religious affiliation would have minimized the bias, um, which is just a really great point. But it got me to thinking about the different types of prayer and meditation. Um, and Shariko did a really great job of just uh, mentioning a lot of the literature that they used um, in their research that really talked about meditation <clears throat> um, and mindfulness. He says that meditation has long been proposed as prevention as a prevention strategy for stress strain and, and burnout syndrome. Um, he said there are several systematic reviews on the efficacy of meditative interventions to reduce physician burnout. Yet yeah, it had inconsistent findings. Um, and then he goes on in th into the article to talk about um, spirituality. So there's meditation and mindfulness. And then there's the whole nother category of um, religiosity. Um, forgive me, I'm looking for it in the paper. Um, he says he he quoted that mindfulness can be defined as the awareness that emerges through paying attention um, on purpose and non-judgmentally to the unfolding of experience moment by moment. And there was strong evidence that mindfulness practice can actually reduce job burnout. But religion, religiousness is a particular form of spirituality that has proved to be effective um, with cardiovascular patients. And so he goes on to talk about the different types of prayer, um, petitionary prayer, um, but he said that prayer could be defined in many ways based on individual beliefs and religious traditions, but personal prayer involves the raising up of one's mind to God. And so I would just, it just got me thinking um, concerning your statement about there being a bias and what would it look like to use teachers who have zero religious affiliation so i feel like that would still have a great impact on the results and um what would, would it would i think it would actually cause more error 
Uh, maybe some would have a religious experience who, um, in, in the study, and find God and find a personal relationship with him. Um, but I think when you are looking at the types of different prayer and meditation and mindfulness, all of the different categories have to really be considered in your research findings. So I personally believe that it doesn't create a bias. I think when we're talking about prayer, uh, Christian prayer specifically, um, and accordance to relationship with God, all of these things play a role um, and impact the results. So thank you so much for your posts and I look forward to dialoguing more with you in this class. God bless you.